All right, the next stage of making a bezel set ring is to prep your bezel wire. So bezel wire, or sometimes called gallery wire, comes in a bunch of different styles, metals. So I'm using this one for my project. Um, but there's also just really simple, clean types of gallery wire. Um, we have a few options. Mostly I just stick to kind of plain bezel wire, but for this project, I'm gonna do a decorative one that looks like this. So what you're going to need to do is have your stone already picked out, and I'm going to trim this on this edge so that it has a nice place to solder. And I'm just using my diagonal cutters. You could also use some shears. And you're going to wrap it around and basically size your stone up. So, you know, wrap it around this stone. It needs to be a tight fit. Um, it can't be too loose or else it's not going to fit your stone when you eventually set it. But it also can't be too tight because then it, your stone will not fit in after you've soldered it. So it's kind of a happy medium. I'm going to mark on here where I need to trim it and unwrap it again. And similar to the ring shank, these need to have a tight fit. So after I have the correct length, I'm going to, again, file the edge flat so that when I solder it, it has a nice place to have a tight seam. So filing this nice and straight and same on the other side. All right, that looks pretty good. After you have filed it, similar to the ring shank, you're going to make them meet precisely. And again, I like to kind of bend it past itself. This wire is a lot thinner than the ring shank, so it's gonna take a little bit more um, finagling or working with it to make it meet perfect. And I actually think I have to solder, or sorry, file this side one more time. So I'm gonna hit that with the file again. The better your seam is now, the easier time you're gonna have to solder it. So that looks pretty good. Once your seam is where you want it to be, you can then take it over to the soldering station. So I'd say that looks pretty good. We're gonna go solder it now. All right, so I have my bezel wire over at my soldering station. We're actually not going to use our third arm for this. We're gonna solder directly onto the block. So my seam is right here. I actually had to remind myself where it was at. Um, so that's how tight of a seam I have. It's kind of hard to tell. So I'm gonna put that right here. And we are still using flux, so I'm gonna paint my seam with the flux on both sides. And we are still using hard solder. The difference between the ring shank and the gallery wire this time is we're gonna put our solder down at the base so that the seam is actually sitting on top of the solder. So I'm gonna add maybe a couple chips, two or three chips of solder, just so that it has a nice joint. So once we have our solder at the base of the bezel wire, we can light our torch. You're looking for a similar flame. Um, you probably don't want this one to be hissing too much because this wire is so thin, it's really easy to melt. So I'm gonna heat up the area around my seam until my flux turns white. Hopefully you can see that okay, I'll go a little closer. And then I'm gonna hover along the top side of my seam. And what that's going to do is suck up the solder almost like a straw through the seam and it's already melted on there. Because that wire is so thin, you really don't want to hover on it too long or else you're gonna melt your gallery wire. So I'm gonna actually solder it a little bit longer just because I think the solder is on the other side of the seam. 
if my solder is too far on this side and I want to pull it over to the other side, I'm going to point my flame from this side and it's going to pull the solder towards the heat. So remember that solder always flows towards the heat and you can use that to your advantage to kind of pull the solder where you need it to go. So I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to take my tweezers and I'm going to quench it in my water. And then I can check and make sure that the seam held. So that looks pretty good. So now I can take it back to my workstation and do a few more things to get it ready for the next part of the project. All right, so I have my bezel wire that has been soldered. I have my stone. Eventually we are going to be attaching our bezel wire to a base, but before we can do that, we have to get a few things ready. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is double check that your gallery wire still fits your stone. If it's too small, you're gonna to wanna to start over, and if it's too big, you're also gonna to wanna to start over. I'd say that's a pretty good fit. It can still pop in and out of the wire, but it's not too big that it is gonna cause me issues down the line. So you're gonna to want to make that shape exactly how it's going to be. So it needs to actually be precise this, at this point. So I'm gonna mold it around my stone. And then you also have to make sure that it's completely flat. So when we attach it to the base, that also has to be a tight fit. So you don't want any, you can see that there's some gapping right there. You want to get rid of that. So I'm going to spend some time pushing it flush against the table. You can also drag it on a file if there are any issues. Usually you don't have to do that if you've taken the time to make the soldering fit nice. But if you have one side that's a little bit raised, you can do that. But mostly you just want to check that there's no gapping when you eventually solder it to the base. So I'm gonna spend some time filing, making sure it's precise around my stone, and then we'll move on to the next portion of the project. All right, so I have my gallery wire soldered. It fits precisely around my stone. At this point, you want to make sure that, that shape stays correct. And then I have a chunk of metal that I will solder as the base. You just need a rough shape and it needs to be larger than your gallery wire. You don't want to cut out your precise shape at this point because sometimes when you solder, this can shift. So you're actually going to solder it first and then cut out the shape that you want around it. Because we want a tight joint between the bottom of the gallery wire and the base of the metal, you need to use a rubber mallet to hammer this completely flat. And that way you limit the gapping between the base and the gallery wire. At this stage, you'd also just want to make sure that the metal is clean. So I've taken a file and I've exposed some new metal. This metal is clean and that they have a tight fit. So I'm gonna check that, that there's minimal gapping. I think that looks pretty good. So now I can take this to my soldering station to solder the two together.